From the moment I started watching Batman Cape Crusader, I was immediately taken back to the 90s, to my childhood, to Batman the Animated Series, which in my opinion is the defining cartoon of the 90s. Well, that and Spider-Man. Perhaps that is due to this show very much being in the vein of a spiritual successor to that series. You could almost call this a sequel, albeit a sequel that is sort of multiverse in nature. Maybe multiverse is not the right word. I guess maybe alternate timeline or alternate dimension. So is this new Batman cartoon worth checking out? Let's discuss it. Batman Cape Crusader has had kind of a rough go as far as productions are concerned. This show was originally supposed to be on Max, where all the other DC stuff is, and where the upcoming Penguin TV show will take place. Matt Reeves was said to be creating a shared universe that was spinning off of the Batman movie that he directed and was going to continue branching out. I don't think this cartoon is branching out on that universe, but it is in the same vein. Needless to say, when David Zaslav stepped in as CEO of Wonder Brother Max, whatever it's called, he got rid of a bunch of different stuff and this show was one of them. And I, for one, think he made a huge mistake by letting this go to Amazon. This show is actually awesome. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, this show was immediately taking me back to the 90s, to my childhood, to the peak of Saturday morning cartoons, to the time when I would wake up and I would rush to the TV so I could watch Spider-Man, I could watch Batman, all these awesome TV shows that really made up the 90s and made for a pretty overall great childhood. However, it's not long into watching this show when you're gonna realize that this show is taking a lot of unique liberties with the characters, but you know what? I actually really dug all these changes. Now, I am a huge Batman fan. I love things just how they are. I don't think we need to be reinventing the wheel, but I did really enjoy the way this show managed to pull it off and, in my opinion, not seem like a ploy or seem like it was trying to stir controversy. Of course, we are living in the age of internet, so anytime you have a show like this that changes iconic characters, you're going to have people on the internet doing their thing. They're going to be complaining, and so I am sure that there is going to be some degree of that but I think if you are a true Batman fan, you have to accept that there are different versions of these characters out there and you have to let there be room for those characters to grow and be interesting. I thought the interpretation of the characters in this show was very excellent. I liked it a lot. But like I said, this is the internet. Anyone and everyone has the right to voice their opinion and some of these opinions are just a joy to read, aren't they? This show is told very much with a villain of the week approach and there is an overarching story working in the background. Almost every single character in this show has been tweaked from the comic book characters that you are very familiar with. We have a very obese Alfred. We have a Catwoman that is not very good at being Catwoman. We have a very unique take on Harvey Dent. We have a very good arc on Harley Quinn. In fact, this version of Harley Quinn, in my opinion, is far better than any version of Harley Quinn I've seen so far. And Bruce Timm, the creator of the original series who helped make this series, he is the one who originally helped create Harley Quinn. If you don't know, Harley Quinn did not exist in the comics until she was introduced on the Batman animated series. So Bruce Timm knows this character very well and he knows what he can do with this character. And in my opinion, I loved what they did with Harley Quinn in this series. She was genuinely terrifying. If I had one gripe, it would be that I'm not so sure about the extremely long ears on the cowl. It's a small complaint, but it is something worth noting. And I'm also pretty sure that the opening credits in this series is not nearly as awesome or as epic as the 90s series was, but that one had Danny Elfman and just a lot of really cool visuals. This one is going for more of a gothic kind of opening, and it's just not as exciting. I am looking forward to seeing a second season of the show, and I hope it doesn't take very long because I am very much looking forward to seeing the twist that they apply to the villains that they didn't get to. There are a lot of iconic villains in Batman's roster, and this show only gets to some of them, and the show actually ends of a cliffhanger about which villain will be coming up next. I assume that this is going to get a second season. I sure hope it does. I will say it does feel weird to be watching this on Amazon Prime. I really just find that to be a strange thing to get over. Plus, I really can't stand Amazon Prime's stupid ads. Yes, I know that I can pay extra money to get rid of it, but Amazon Prime is already the most expensive streaming service there is. Why would I give these people extra money? I'm not letting these people win. They're already taking enough money out of me. So I will watch up the ads 
but I am going to mention it every time because it pisses me off. But I am very grateful that Amazon did pick this show up. It does belong on HBO Max. That's where all the other current DC content is and where Matt Reeves' expanded Batman universe is going to be putting its stuff. So for me, this show is a resounding 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I binged it very fast. I couldn't wait to see more. I can't wait to see more. If you guys are huge Batman fans like I am, I urge you to try to find a place in your heart to accept different versions of these characters. Don't think that they are ruining your characters. The characters' essence are still there. They just have a slightly different presentation, but don't let that hold you back or prevent you from enjoying this show. Because if you can look past those things, this show has a great story and a very mature way of telling it. So those are my thoughts. Did you guys see this show? Do you plan on watching it? Put your thoughts on it in the comments. Did you like this video? If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to hear more things from me, please subscribe to this channel. Later. Thank you.